Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. So today we're going to be talking about Genius Brands International. <clears throat> now, this is a stock that has been uh, on a downward trend, we can say, from the past month, okay? And previous in my previous videos, I have definitely warned about not buying the stock, and I have not bought the stock. Um, and it went from, even just a month ago, from $1.64 to now $1.04, which is a 36% decline in the stock price. If we look at the six-month chart, this is stock that used to trade at like 28 cents, right? So even if you're buying, you know, you just made like a 273% gain in your value worth um, over the span of six months, right? Would have been more insane when the stock reached like $11 and you would have made like over 3,000% because this is when it had like, at end of the day at like close to $8. But even since then, uh, it has decreased from like close to $8 down close to 90%, right? Which I still think it has room to go. Um, one day in the past month, it reached, I think, below, um, even the five days, maybe it reached below a dollar. Yeah, you can see here, 98 cents. Um, and they have been, like this company has been pumping money and offering more shares to shareholders uh, at decreased valuations. And so we're gonna talk about all of this and what you should do. Um, if you're an owner in this company, I do highly recommend selling. Um, and I mean, I don't think I'll buy if it dips below like 80 cents or even 70 cents, I might consider, but even then there's a lot of allegations going on associated with genius brands. So let's just get right into it. So first, um, this company fell 26% in August. And so the stock also fell following news that multiple law firms were filing class action lawsuits against the company alleging basically it had made misleading statements about its programs and recently launched, uh, children's entertainment streaming services. So again, I made some videos of the news that they made, and again, warning that you should not buy this company, right? So for example, one of the um, class action lawsuits here is um, basically, is being accused of engaging in, in a pump and dump scheme. So basically hyping the company up um, and engaging in a market, marketing campaign to mislead shareholders to artificially inflate stock prices, right? Um, and so it made a series of direct offerings to long-standing shareholders selling millions of shares well below current market value um, and then also engaged in a form of deceptive hype so touting its launch of the free educational platform the cartoon channel and also the apps and etc stuff like that but i mean when we go to even the cartoon channel on um youtube which may be not like the favorite streaming platform, but this is obviously definitely free and they have a bunch of episodes. So like subscriber count, you know, like pretty damn good. But what really matters, especially when you monetize it on YouTube is the amount of views that you get. And so you can see the views, it's like 92 views. Although, I mean, this was released a day ago, but you know, it was even like released two weeks ago. This only has like, the only has 334 views, for example, right? Um, and four weeks ago, 5.5k views, so not bad, but again, nothing that you'd expect from a, a channel that has, you know, 68k subscribers, right? Um, so definitely something that you need to watch out for. You know, this is what the overhype that they're talking about, right? Um, so, and it also says that unwarrantly but favorably compared Genius, like its own brand, to Netflix, Disney, and Marvel. Um... And then again, goes on to say that Genius announced a new joint venture regarding intellectual property created by Stan Lee. But this just like underwhelmed shareholders by again offering little substance to back company claims, right? And so even on the great, supposed great news, the company share price dropped from 355 to 266. And of course, now you can see that the price is like $1.04, right? So even more. Um, so again, their allegation is it's a pump dump scheme. Of course, Genius Brands is going to come out to say that um, this litigation is meritless and that lawsuit is meritless and we're vigorously defend our position against this hollow accusation, right? So of course, they have to come out and say this. Um, but again, all this is bad rep for Genius stock and I believe that it is going to go down even more, right? Um, and so along that, you can see the chart here. So although S&P level changed, it was positive in August, um, Genius Brands was down 26%, right? 
So pretty much the stock skyrocketed on hopes that the platform could ride momentum in the streaming space and carve out a niche by focusing on uh, educational content for kids, right? And they also have a bunch of toys associated with it, which hit the markets of, um, of Walmart and also online on Amazon. Um, of course, the company's share price is roughly down 91% from the 52-week high of $11.73 per share. Right, so that's, you know, that's huge, right? And so even in September, there's still sell-off going up, going on. So S&P level declined by 3% and um, Genius declined by 6%. So uh, one interesting point here is that Genius Brands has a market cap of now well, $230 million. It's right now, yeah, again, around $230 million. Um, And even after the recent sell-off, Genius share price has climbed 280% year-to-date, right, which is insane. Um, even though that it increased its shares outstanding, so it, it just sold shares, which should pr- um, decrease the stock price, but it increased its outstanding shares by more than 900%, um, but the price has even climbed, right, which is just, you know, it, it, it's pretty crazy, right? So, I mean, again, I think the thing behind Genius Brands is, in, is pretty great. It's like education for kids, especially in this time of lockdown, right? However, we're getting out of lockdown and, um, you know, I think maybe the emphasis put on online education, although it's still there, may not be from these TV shows such as, you know, Stanley's Superhero Kindergarten, um, same as like Warren Buffett's Secret Millionaire Club, another one of, of um, the cartoon channels or the Genius Brands International um, sort of TV series, right? So also... Again, even amid this, they're just putting out more exciting hype news, which again is not really doing too well for the stock and just like promotes them as overhyping and, and touting their position, even though they're not that big of a deal, right? So they're saying Genius Brands launches Cartoon Classroom featuring animated educational content for children as a brand extension of Cartoon Channel, right? Um, so this was news that came out today. Another point is that licensed in- industry icon. Karen McTeer joins Genius Brands Board of Directors, right? And they're saying how she, um, one of the most accomplished consumer products executive in Hollywood, has joined the company's Board of Directors and will bring her immense experience to guide the development of Genius Brands' rapidly growing slate of property. And what has happened to the stock, again, it has just decreased, right, over the past five days. This was news that was announced on September 8th, right? And when we look at this company, um, we see again market cap of around 230 million, terrible earnings, right? Um, and when we go into their statistics, we can see that around 10% of their shares are shorted, um, right here as of August 13th. And their recent quarter was absolutely trash. So if we go down, we can see that quarterly, against a revenue of only $560,000 they actually um, lost $383 million, right? So you can even barely see the bar here representing their earnings, right? And even in the first quarter of 2020, um, they just made 330, 334000 revenue against a Drew earnings of $5.8 million, right? So their earnings are going down drastically, right? So they're losing money ref- left and right. And the reason why they're putting out so many shares is to fund this loss, right? And so even though they've had so many exciting products on the market, they're still losing a lot of money, as we can see here, especially by the, you know, from negative 6 million to negative 383 million. And I understand that they need to use that money to launch all their brands. But again, this is just like not good news for you as an investor, especially if they only earned half a million in revenue, right? Um, and again, although, you know, 10% of share shortage is, is not a lot considering it's such a, you know, <clears throat> the speculative play, um, it still is maybe because the stock has been already down by so much, right? Um, but it's still, I would say it's quite a significant amount of share shorting. But anyways, um, what do you think of all these litigations? What are you doing with your shares if you own some of Genius Brands? Um, I just wanted to make a video of this. And if you do enjoy it, please give it a like and subscribe and have a fantastic day, guys.